full-time, full-time. And that was just the best part for me. Um, the only thing I was worried about is I had no confidence at the time. I was completely fearful of being judged. And my husband was like, you're going to, you're going to really do this. Cause if somebody says no to you, it's going to be kind of rough on you. Cause I'm very, very sensitive. So I've grown so much. I've been doing this since October of 2013. So a little over a year and a half. Um, and I've loved every single second of it. I had been asked to do network marketing before, and there are other network marketing companies, but there is nothing like this company. It, it, from what I see and from the year and a half, it's just so incredible. And of course, we get to share Shakeology. I mean, of everything out there, I had been looking at Dr. Oz and writing down all the things that he was telling me to take and for energy and MACA, B12, everything, and it was already in Shakeology. So that in itself was awesome, and I was going to get to help other people make my own hours, choose my pay, and make a difference. So I, um, I got really excited, and in the beginning, I was asking everybody that I knew, and everybody was saying no, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, like this is not the business that I had planned. I pictured it that when I would sign on, everybody would want to do this and it would be so fabulous. And I couldn't believe it. So I, um, I ended up getting to Emerald my first month because I asked my mom, thank gosh, I love my mom, and my brother-in-law also kind of saved the day because I think he felt bad for me. And then my faith in the business started fading because it wasn't going how I planned. So I set a quit date and I decided that I would do this for six months see what happens. And if I still didn't like it, I would just drink Shakeology. But then I had to reevaluate because I knew something wasn't working. And what I learned was so awesome. I learned that I was going about this business the, the wrong way. Um, I learned this through reading The Go-Giver. I don't know if you guys have read that book. It is my favorite book. I've read it multiple times and I don't read books more than once. But The Go-Giver is just so incredible. And just talking about how you really have to to have to share and be wanting to help people. And I started listening to people. And I realized that before I was just telling people what I wanted them to hear. I was like, this business is incredible. It's the best job. We can help people. We can do this, that, this, and that. And then once I started listening to what they wanted, people became interested. I started asking more questions and it just grew into this incredible thing. Um, I became diamond in December and I've, I've grown my business now because I've been listening to other people and helping people. So I love everything about this and I am going to talk about time management like I was asked to, the scary topic for me personally. I think it's hard when people do this and you become your own boss and you're an entrepreneur and you realize you have all these other things in life. It is a hard to balance. But if you see the big picture and where this can take you, it's incredible. So figuring out what works for you, whether whatever you have going on in life, it can be done. You just have to stay consistent. So the first few months of this, I really had um, awful balance. Like I said, I have two kids. I was working out of school and I was watching my nephews twice a week. My kids are into karate, cheerleading, the typical kid stuff. So I was super busy. Um, just like everybody else. So I would have to-do lists all over the place and my time management was not anything that I would want anyone to know about when I started. Um, I have found Planner Pad. I'm going to share with you how I use Planner Pad. I don't know what you guys use. Everyone has different things. I've tried everything in the world, but this was has been a lifesaver to me. So I want to just share my screen because this is my time management and what's been um, incredible for me so can you guys all see that if you keep up oh. did I just freeze okay there we go so this is my planner pad I, I made this as um just as a sample page so that I can show you how I line it up but if you have another planner or something then this is what has helped me I'm hoping that you can take away something from it so at the top I guess it's actually kind of cut off but I write minutes up there because that's where I put how many minutes I did my personal development because personal development is absolutely the most important thing of anything in this entire business. I know there's three vital behaviors. It's my number one favorite vital behavior. I would not be where I am today without it. Oh, I know everybody says That's that. Really but honestly, until you, until you do it, and until you try it out and you're consistent with it, you won't understand why everyone says that it's so life-changing. So um, personal development for me, I did a lot of multitasking. Um, whenever I do my laundry or I'm cooking, I always have one earbud in 
and I would put it like in my phone in my pocket. I listen to Audible. You can get Audible for free for the first 30 days, and then it goes down to $15 a month. Um, it's so worth it. And when I get my nails done, I, I listen to one earbud too, because I can still hear them and it's not really rude. So I do personal development overload and I make sure that I track it on the top. My favorite books are, like I said, The Go-Giver, uh, The Magic of Thinking Big is a great, great book. Um, Tony Robbins, Unleash the Power Within, You Are a Badass, Jen Sincero, and 15 Laws of Invaluable Growth. Those are my top favorite books. So I always want to just make sure I throw in a part to share those. And then the next line I have that says positive thing, um, meet a member and then there's blank. I put what I do for team building. Even if you have a team of two or three people right now, it, it's so important to start involving them. If you have your own team page, I know this is an emerald to diamond group, so you're just starting to get more people. But having a new team page, I started my team, my team page. I put my mom and my sister and my two coaches, and I'm like, this is our page. Here we go. And it sounds funny, but it's exciting. And when you bring that momentum and people want to join you, it just, it grows. So don't be afraid to start a page and just interact with people. So my thing on Monday is we share um, something positive that happened in our week. On Tuesday, we do meet a member. So we do um, a video of, of an, somebody in the group just sharing their journey. Uh, Wednesday is our team call. Thursday, we do the ingredient, uh, just any ingredient in Shakeology. And this is great for when you have a, a team of a few more people. It gives people leadership roles and it helps them start their business and get involved. So even if it's just a few, sharing that responsibility gets um, people involved. So the way that this works is it's a line down. So this first line is Monday, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, and Wednesday. So at the top here, I put who I'm talking to because you always want to track who you're talking to. And this means anybody, anyone that you're having a that you think has um, any interest or that you're with, of course. Um, you want to see their picture on Facebook or see something. And it's funny because I think a lot of people will compliment people in their head or, or think of a comment about a picture, and they don't necessarily tell it to that person. They just think the compliment in their head. So I'm never afraid to message people. I built most of my business starting up by messaging people, inboxing them, and just saying, hey, your post was so funny. Hey, I love that picture. Oh, your daughter's getting so big. Something to start up that conversation, because you never realize, I mean, we're on Facebook a lot. There's people who are so caught up in their life, and they're, they're living as, like, their job is so hectic right now, or their kids are driving them nuts, or wherever they're at in life that you never know, you could be the person that changes their day around, and they're like, oh, that was really cool. That he or she thought of me and it and it builds that relationship and if nothing comes from it you're getting a new friend so it's so great um so always make sure that you message people and that's where i put who you're talking to who i've talked to today up here just so i can look back at the week and then go back and check in so that would be for monday tuesday wednesday and then in here i put my coaches people who have signed up and make sure if i talk to them just checking in because you never want to let go of some or not check in with somebody because the challenge groups can be overwhelming. I love the challenge groups. They are the best thing, but you never know um, who might fall off the wagon. And you wanna just be there for them to support them. And you wanna also make sure that you go back and when you're, say Thursday, you can go back and look at Monday and say, oh, I should go back and check in with them. Because there are gonna be people who say no, and then you can flip back for weeks and, and say, I should check in with them again. I know that there is times in my life where the only thing in the world I wanna do is eat ice cream and Swedish fish. And nobody's gonna tell me anything different. It's just where I'm at in life. And it's like, you're stuck, you're in a rut. But if somebody messaged me and I said I wasn't ready to join and then I never went back to them, then you just, you never know. You'd never be there for when they are ready. Um, all eight of my diamonds have said, did say no in the beginning. So I try to always remember that, that when somebody says no, it actually means nothing at all. And just make sure that you stay there for them. Um, under here, this is the daily list, the things to do. I always make sure I have a top three. That's the most important. I have a friend that I message my top three with every day and we have, we keep each other accountable. Top three things. One of them might be laundry just because that is something I am awful at. Um, I do my laundry when it is completely overflowing. And sometimes it has to be laundry. And then two other things are two really big things that I have to do. This does not include personal development or working out. I put my workout in here that I just skipped over that part. But 
always think of your top three. You have time in the day to get three tasks done, even if it's go to the post office. Because when you go to bed at night, you then feel like, awesome, I got those three things accomplished. And it makes you feel so good. Um, I did skip over this part up here. This is, I, I write out FBLPHBD. This is Facebook, like page, happy birthdays. This is something that is shocking how important it is. I love to write happy birthday on somebody's page and then I message them too. Just if it's somebody who I think I could connect with or think I would have, have had a good relationship with, just to get the relationship going. People love their birthdays or, or you should love your birthday, birthday. It's a special day about you. Um, and acknowledging people's birthday is really important. So I make sure that I do that every day. And then IG is Instagram. And then here are my challenge groups, 21 day. Um, that's Coach Basics. And then my other challenge group. And then here's the national wake up call. And then I write each day what my workout is. And then at the bottom here, these are the appointments. So if you have Planner Pad, this is how it works. It is plannerpad.com. And I just, this is how, what my day kind of looks like. And when I was working, I'll tell you more about that. So I would check into the challenge groups in the morning just to check in and see how people are doing. Then I would go to work. And then at lunch, I would return any messages that I got because that's most important. Um, and then I would go back to work. And then when I got home, I'd do my workout. I am not an early bird. Um, Melanie's posts inspire me incredibly. It's just not me. Um, I wish, but it's not. So I have to schedule my workouts in the um, afternoon. And then after my workouts, I check in. And then I have my kids that we hang out um, before and after the workout, during the workout. I try to get them involved, especially my teenage daughter who's 16, so it's fun to include her, and my five-year-old loves it, so he's always easy to get involved. Um, then we have dinner and stuff, family time, and then at night when they go to bed is when I do my power hour. So I'm going to stop share because that is my little planner pad um, and my power hour. So I try to do my power hour at night. Um, this, again, my power hour does not include working out or personal development. Or like I said, I check in to my challenge groups throughout the day. And I try to break it down into 15 minutes of my hour. And I'll set a timer because I could go on and on. I have the block on my news feed so that I can't see the news feed on my Facebook. Um, I forget what that is called. But if you Googled news feed Facebook block or something, I believe it's part of Chrome. So that mine just, when I go to the news feed on Facebook, it says, do not get distracted by Facebook. So I can only look at it through my phone. That's been an incredible help to me because I would scroll through, scroll through and then be like, oh, I just worked for an hour and realize I actually did nothing. So I blocked that. I can still see everything on my phone, which is great. Um, and it's a great reminder. Don't get distracted by the news feed. But you also want to go and check in and support your coaches and see the news feed, just not when it's power hour time. So for my power hour, the first 15 minutes, I focus on being a part of groups. Um, I've added myself into a lot of groups. There are Facebook groups for everything. And this is something I wish I did earlier on is to expand my cold market because I didn't, I wasn't aware of that's kind of how it works. Everything for me starting off, I did warm market. Looking back now, that's a big regret that I have that I didn't start building my cold market sooner. So that's something I would suggest to you all now. Add yourself to groups. There are so many groups on Facebook. There are like ride your motorcycle. If you love motorcycles, go join a motorcycle group. If you like now it's gardening season, you might garden. I stink at garden. I dream about it, but it doesn't work. But maybe you love, I mean, you love shopping. There's probably like a shopaholic group. Get into these groups and just start forming with the people in the groups and become friends with them. If you comment on something and they comment back and you comment, you're building a relationship with people that you don't know. You can then friend request them and maybe they don't accept. That's fine. It's not anything personal. Sometimes people are funny about that, but maybe they do. And then you message them and like, oh, I love that post you had. And they write back and I will form with you because you want to really develop a relationship with them. And then when you're po if you're posting on Facebook, right, then they're going to see your posts and they might join your challenge. So I try to spend 15 minutes in my groups, not my challenge groups, groups like motorcycle groups. I don't have a motorcycle, but thinking if that was one of your things, that could be your groups and adding people as friends because that's building your cold network and messaging people that you've met in groups to build trust. So you want to keep lists of that too. Then I set my timer. Next 15 minutes, I need to message my coaches, um, any coaches that I have, any customers, and I need to see how I can help them because that's the most important thing that's going to build your business. 
And even people who say, I would never work the business, it's not my thing. And when I tell you, everyone says that to me, I'm like, oh, okay, no problem. You're going to love it. But just let them say that because they don't know. The only thing is they don't understand what this is all about. There's so much information. It's so overwhelming to, oh, you want to be a coach? People are like, I could never be a coach. And then they're the best coach in the world once they understand what it is. So you want to still build your relationship with them. And then the next 15 minutes, I focus on recruiting. So I want to send out new invitations to people, um, people that I've already been talking to and say, hey, I'm having a challenge group, or um, I want to tell you about this business opportunity, something like that, whatever sort of thing I can invite. So recruiting is my next 15. In my last 15 minutes, I really focus on posting, posting for my challenge groups, posting for my like page for Instagram and planning that out. So I'm not struggling and then throwing something up there last minute, like, Oh, I have nothing to post today. So just throwing up whatever. Um, I love, I'm not sure which co top coach said, but if it's fun, funny or fun to look at, I love thinking of that for Facebook posting because if it's not, nobody really, I mean, I love funny posts. I love to laugh. I love things that are fun and fun to look at, of course. It's, it's so fun. So that's my power hour in a nutshell. Um, my first 15 adding, um, participating in groups and adding people from groups. Next 15, working on my coaches and my customers. Next 15, inv inviting new people. And last 15 is creating posts. So everybody does it a little differently. Those are the things that I try to focus on. And like I said, I'm checking into my challenge groups in the morning and after my workout. And I do my power hour at night. And then of course I have my call. So my weekly schedule is pretty, um, it's pretty consistent, I guess. But I do my power hour when my kids are in bed. That's what works for me. And I am a night owl. So some people do it in the morning. Um, do I use Hootsuite? I use Buffer. I did try to use Hootsuite. And it, I don't know. I couldn't figure it out for some reason. It kept posting a weird little link. So um, I use Buffer app. Buffer app has been a lifesaver for me. It's so great. You can schedule everything out. Um, and that's what I use to do Facebook posting. Um, so my weekly schedule now is a little different because I am home. I did get to quit my job in December. So I quit after 13 months of doing this, but like saying doing this, I was all in. I made sure that I was going to be a success club 10 all star. I love this business in I've never really been successful at anything in my life, um, except being a mom. I, I like to think I'm kind of successful there, but I wanted, I never had a career or anything. So this, I really wanted to do well and I wanted to help people. So 13 months in, I was able to quit my job. So now um, my schedule is a little different, but that was how I worked it back then. Um, I still am going to school right now. I go to the in Institute of Integrative Nutrition. I love it. It's been incredible and I've learned so much. And I've started going there because of Beachbody, because how interesting everything is. So um, like I said, everybody has a busy schedule, but if you stay consistent with the things that you want to do every single day, then you can do this. I've heard coaches tell me, oh, I'm not sure if I can make the call. I really have to like put my family first or something. And that is like, Oh, like knife to my chest. It's like you are putting your family first by coming on the call. You guys are all on the call tonight. And that seriously, I truly do believe that even if your kids are awake right now, even if you had to get a babysitter or your husband's like, oh, another call or whatever is going on in your life right now, you're on this call. And that's going to build your business because it's consistency and it's being a part of this. And you have no idea how big you can build this until you actually do. Um, I was not really aware of how incredible this was when I first signed up, but I was like, this is going to be my job. So I look at it as, and my husband knows, Monday and Wednesday, I have a call. It's in my schedule permanently, and then I do um, guest speaking on the other days, but um, it's part of my job. I do this for my family. So when people have said to me, oh, I have to do my family first, I'm not sure, like, I'm like, this is for your family. This, I just went to Cancun with my family. You guys can do such incredible things if you just give up a little bit of time right now to make this business work. Um, I look at this like a job and I also think about nurses. I mean, if you know a nurse who works like 12 or maybe even more hour shifts, like they're away from their kids for a long time or hairdressers who have to work on the weekends and are missing soccer games and stuff. We don't have to do that. But you get to have, we have a call at night and to be a part of that. And the rest of it is on your time. 
which again is also a hard thing because you have to be your own boss and you have to make yourself work. Now that I work from home, like I said, I'm not a morning person. Every morning my bed looks so comfortable, but I also love where this business has brought me, what it's done for my family and what it's done for me personally, personal development and how I feel about myself. Everything about this, I'm like, my bed's not that comfortable. It'll be comfortable a few hours from now too. So um, the thing that I keep really consistent is on Sunday is when I set my goals. So I do my week, like I said, I told you my schedule, but Sunday my goal setting is something that I never miss because I love setting goals. Um, when you set goals, it forces you to clarify exactly what you want. So I always feel like that gives me a good focus into the week. Um, I know exactly what I want that week and it's motivating to me. Like, oh, I wrote that as my goal, I have to do it. And there's nothing better than seeing your accomplishments and you get to celebrate your progress at the end of the week. So every Sunday I do write down my goals um, and I just make it a goal to make this work. I have a goal of Success Club 10 and I'm going to do what I can to make it work. And I look at it as, yeah, it's 10 points, but that's five people. And that's a good number for me. Um, and some people make, make Success Club 5 and that's three people or Success Club 6 whatever like works for you, you can make this work, but it's all in what you think. It's your belief in yourself. It's how much you want to take this. And you absolutely can do this. Make it a goal that for like the next three months that this is your job. And are you a good employer? Like, are you doing what you need to do? Like evaluate yourself, pretend you're giving yourself an evaluation for the last month of your beach body business. How have you done? Would you get an A plus or would your boss be like, there could be room for improvement and everybody has room for improvement. But if there's something that's holding you back, figure out what it is. It could be personal development. It could be your inviting. It could be your own health. It's like the three vital behaviors. If one of those vital behaviors is holding you back right now, evaluate it and decide right now that you're going to commit to that one thing daily, whatever it is that might be a little off for you, write it down on your calendar and put a little check. Like every day you did your personal development. I love seeing on, I'm very type A like that. Um, I love seeing on my calendar that I did something like four days in a row. And then I'm like, I'm on a roll. And it makes you want to keep going. So whatever is your little thing that's not um, where it should be, focus more on that just for a week or so and see how your life changes, see how your business changes. If you're not inviting enough, Commit that you're going to invite this week and you're going to be on top of it. And that's the thing that you're going to work on. And every day you're going to get closer to your goals. So decide also why, what is your goal? Like, remember what your goals are for. Do you want to fire your boss? Do you want to take your kids on vacation? Every single person that you sign up, think of that. That's getting you that much closer because this is consistency. I'm sure you guys have read the compound effect. I think it's one of the most popular talked about beach body books, but um, it's incredible and, it, and it's really so true if you're doing this every single day do your top three things and make it work um, and whatever is holding you back right now we all have fears um, work through them just keep sharing Shakeology share it like you share a movie or you share dinner a good restaurant to go to and just tell people I remember when I started I was like like, I'm not, I don't know if I can do this. I'm definitely not a salesperson. I think that's everyone's biggest fear. Um, it was certainly mine. I did not want to be judged for being a salesperson. I have a couple of car salesmen friends and they do it a little bit uh, the wrong way, in my opinion. So I didn't want to be looked at that way. And I was talking to one of my friends and I'm like, oh, Katie, I just like, I love the Shakeology. And I had known she had said that she wasn't interested. And I'm like, yeah, no, no, that's fine. And I was like, I'm not going to be pushy. This is, I was brand new. And thinking back now, I'm like, I would never say I'm not going to be pushy anymore. But I was telling her, I'm like, I just, I'm sleeping better. I feel better. And my skin, I, or my acne was pretty bad at that point. And um, I was like, my skin's cleared up and I'm sleeping better and I have more energy. And I've also lost weight. I just feel really good. And she said to me, sold. And I was like, oh my God, I'm like, I did not sell you anything. I'm not selling you. I'm just telling you how I feel, what's going on. Like, no, 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 no. I'm not selling you. And she was like, Erin, relax. I want to try it. If you feel that good, like you're my friend. I trust what you're saying. I want to order some, please. I'm like, whoa, that was like light dawns on Marblehead. This is how that works. Sharing your story, putting yourself out there. When you love a movie and I'm the type of person to like, I love this. It was so great. Da, da, da. And I'll go on and on about something. Share it that way. Share how great your restaurant was and why the restaurant you went to was so good. 
don't ever be afraid to. I remember um, just this month I was saying to this woman, I'm like, you, you really just need to do it. And I used to never say that to you because I used to be that I never want to be pushy. And I did. I pushed her. It was the end of the month. I'm like, you just need to do it. And I pushed her and she said, thank you so much because I was just on the verge of um, I'm almost I'm on my way to getting diabetes and I need to do something. So I'm so glad you reached out to me and just pushed me. And she like said that word. I'm like, I pushed you, but she was grateful. So you never know how many people are going to be how, how grateful that you pushed them. And if you know anyone, anyone, I mean, you know us on the call, you know, anyone who's benefited from Shakeology, you know, it's worth it. And you know, what we're doing is the right thing. So just change your mindset, truly believe in yourself and stay consistent and just know um, you are helping them so much more than they're helping you. That's something that I always try to remind myself is that, yes, it's two successful points. Yes, it's commission. Yes, maybe it'll build my business. But that's nothing compared to what you're doing for their life. Because if you've seen stories of people who started Shakeology and completely turned their life around, that's what you need to remember. You never know. They might be the next crazy transformation story. So just know that whatever you're benefiting from from them they're benefiting so much more from you so just get out there and um do your thing I'm, I'm i don't know if i'm going on for too long marsh i'm kind of rambling at this point so um feel free to cut me off but um because i was just gonna go on and on did i lose you no you're okay okay i'm still like just is that good because i was going on for a half hour, so I don't want to take up too much time. I don't know if, how long you guys, if you normally jump right off at a half hour, but that was basically my bottom line about belief, because I think with everything, time management and everything, um, the bottom line is belief in yourself and getting out there and doing it and staying consistent. So that's basically my time management. That's my schedule, um, and that's how I've done what I've done. So if you just put your heart and soul into this, you can do anything you want, honest to God. Does anybody have questions for Erin while we have her on? You guys can unmute yourselves and ask if you have questions. I loved your um, schedule, Erin. I took a lot of notes on that. Thank you. It took me, I've tried everything. I try, I know that um, Melanie does Google because I've seen her video and I, I think it's so great how she does it. It just, it didn't work for me. Um, I'm like a pen and paper person, so I know everybody's different. So I figured pen and paper people I'd share for that and for computer people. Definitely. If you haven't seen her video, it's so awesome. Yeah, I did take a screen share of that, um, Carrie. So I will post that in our group. Pen and paper type A. Can you, please? Can you go over Erin one more time? Um, how you have themes um, for days of the week for your, um, coaching group. I kind of liked that. We talked about that. Sure. Too. Yeah. Monday we do, um, post something positive that happened in your week last week. So it's, um, you start off your week, right. And you kind of just like talk about happy things and it's inspiring to other people and it, it gets everybody started off. Right. Um, I also change my banner weekly as to who's at success club. So that's something that I do on Mondays. Um, that's just in my like push to diamond group, my, not my main team page. So I have my team page where I put everybody in there, discount coaches, everybody, because you never know who's going to be inspired to work the business. That's what I think really grew my business is I tell people, I'm going to add you to this page. I know you're not interested in the business right now, but we share some different things. If you want to look around and I also say you can feel free to turn off notifications because it, you never know what's going to make people be like, oh, I totally do this. So Monday we do that. And the people who are discount coaches get involved in it too because everybody likes to share happy things, like whatever has happened in their past week. So that's what we do on Monday. Tuesday, um, we do a meet an FSC member. My team is Fit Synergy Corp, so that's FSC. And um, anyone, anyone, you can be a discount coach, you can be a brand new coach, you can be a five-star diamond coach, whoever you are, if you wanna share your story, you make a short, like two to three minute video, and we post it. And it's, it's great to see everybody like encouraging people or saying, Oh, I didn't know you went to that college. I did too. Or, Oh, you worked here, whatever it is. And people connect underneath it, just comments and they encourage each other. And it's a great like bonding thing. Um, Wednesday, we just have our team call. And then Thursday we do, we highlight an ingredient in Shakeology 
And that's beneficial for people who are discount coaches because they're seeing, oh, I didn't know that Maca was in Shakeology or whatever it is and what it, what it does for you. And then people are saying like, oh, my nails actually have got stronger. It must be because that's an ingredient that's in Shakeology and I'm taking it every day. And it also helps push like you really need to take Shakeology every single day to see the benefits. And then Friday we do FSC recognition which is recognizing somebody who has a great transformation or was a great coach or anybody can recognize anybody. So um, I post that in my Emerald and Above group that they can recognize somebody, whoever they want. And it's just a great, a great way to get people to kind of put themselves out there to make a post. We use PicMonkey to make fun little graphics. I have um, templates that they can use, but it's great. Everybody loves recognition. So that's, uh, that's been so helpful. And like I said, I do my recognition. I go a little overboard. So I have, I make little things. And if you guys have, my team is only from like, we started a year and a half ago. So we're smaller. I mean, a lot of coaches wouldn't be able to do this, but I make the picture people's face if they get success club and people, you would think it's like, some people are like, you really don't need to do that. That's a waste of your time. It's shocking how people are like, can you use this picture of me? Or I want to use that picture or make sure that I get on there. You know what I mean? So it is little different things motivate different people. So you always want to try and uh, like the color code at the NLC. I'm sure you're all familiar with the color code, but you have to know that yellows want to see their face up there. So I can't take that away from the yellows. I will always be making uh, pictures of their faces. So yeah, that was my uh, weekly thing, right? Did I catch everything? Uh -huh. So. Yep, that was awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing this call tonight. Um, oh, a theme for Friday. You got that, right? Um, is recognition to Melissa. Yeah. Um, all right. If there's no other questions, we will let you go for tonight. Thank you guys for jumping on. Thank you so much, Erin. I appreciate you doing this tonight. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.